So, a lot of people don't like this process. Now that you've been through it, as, as sought after as you were, what, did you like it? Did you, what, parts of it annoy you? Um, I had a lot of people in my corner helping me through it, uh, between my parents, my grandparents, my teammates, my coaches. So, I mean, it was stressful, like everyone says. Uh, that's, that's definitely for sure. I think uh, every highly talented recruit goes through that, but um, it went really smoothly thanks to the people in my corner. When did you know? Um, I, I always knew that I liked it the first time I went down there, and then um, I just wanted to make sure I left no stone unturned. That's why I visited Oklahoma uh, last week, and when I got back, I just sat down with my parents, um, crunched the numbers, and uh, saw what was like best for me. And then um, the place that was best for me ended up being the place I was most comfortable. Now crunch the numbers. What does that mean? I did. I made like a presentation for my dad because he wanted, he didn't want me to make an emotional decision. I um, mean, he's a very methodical guy. So um, I made like um, a chart with each school in it, and then kind of did like a point system, which was the best in this category, so and so, and then averaged it out at the end and just saw which one uh, fit me best. Was it close in the point system? It was close, yeah. I mean, all three of them or, did, or the top two? All three of them were pretty close. Okay. Why, why Ohio State? What, what did it kind of come down to for you? I mean, what it came down to was just com comfort level, uh, seeing myself living there, and ultimately um, the opportunity I see myself um, thriving at because they do have a, a deep, not just deep, but very talented receiver room. And I've always found myself uh, competing better when I'm chasing something. And um, I know that I'm gonna have to work really hard when I get there. And I'm not saying that I wanna get there and sit, like that's never my goal. I'm gonna get there and I'm gonna aim to start my freshman year. But I know I'm gonna have to work really hard to do that. How much is the NFL a goal? The NFL is very much a goal. Um, not just the NFL, but first round. Uh, first round can really change your life and the others around you. Um, but after the first round, I'm looking for a long, healthy career and, you know, ultimately get myself in the Hall of Fame. Playing for a perennial college football playoff contender, how, how big of a consideration was that for you? Yeah, I mean, that's just more exposure to the NFL. If your team's in the college football playoffs every year, then um, you're going to be on TV, more NFL scouts are going to tune in, stuff like that. Well, you, I mean, you talk about you wanted to take the emotion out of it. Will you allow yourself to become emotionally attached to Ohio State, or is this going to be a business decision all the way through college? To, to I mean, you have goals past Ohio State. Mm -hmm. How do you look um, at them? I have, I have a great connection with the coaching staff. There's no doubt about it. Uh, recruits, too. Um, but at the end of the day, I wouldn't be recruited if I wasn't good at, at football. And um, so I'm just using college as an outlet to, for my success. And even though I may love the coaches there, it's strictly business. When, when did you let them know that, that they were the, they were the pick? Tuesday morning. Tuesday morning, and their reaction. So was it was it was it Ryan or was it Coach Coach Day? Was it, it was both of them? I had both of them on the phone, and uh, I'm not going to name drop, but I was wearing a different college's uh, sweatshirt, and then so I kind of pranked them in that sense. And then once I took it off, they both kind of like fell out of their seats. So well, it was pretty funny. Oh, and what was their reaction when when they saw that? Did they did they notice it? Do you think? Yeah, they noticed it. Their hearts kind of like the FaceTime was zoomed in on my face, so they didn't see what I was wearing. And then after a couple minutes of talking, I like zoomed it out so they could see. And then um, they're, they kind of got like expressionless. They kind of just like their hearts dropped and then they took off the sweatshirt and they were uh, they, they got super excited. Is Are you going to be a prankster? Is that what we're going to know? Are you going to be known as a prankster? I did it to my parents. I did it to my friends too. And I did it to my girlfriend as well. Uh, so, I mean, I like to have fun with it. I know when I asked you kind of before we, we started this, but just the fact that you, you, you kept you had people guessing like this was not let out of the bag like people thought oh my gosh Oklahoma really has a chance I mean did you monitor just did you were you kind of laughing to yourself going I've done my job I mean like was there was there part of this a game of just keeping it secret I mean was that a was that a goal of yours I mean I guess that's 
kind of part of my personality. I don't, I don't like when things are spoiled. I hate when movies are spoiled for me, TV shows, anything like that. So um, I, I didn't want anyone to really know where I was going. Um, so yeah. What about the video? Are you, were you going for America's Honk? What the heck was that? <laughs> uh, it took a, it took a couple of days to produce it. Great camera guy, um, you know. All all the credit to him. He made it great. Well, how I mean, how important was it for you to announce that with these guys in the background? It was everything. I mean, they've helped me get here so much more than they know. We've been playing since second grade together. Um, they're just my best friends. Wouldn't have anyone else out there with me. How are you feeling about a, a potential spring season, and, and how devastating would that be if it, things don't improve and if we're not able to have one here? Yeah, um, I'm I'm getting all the things ready so that I am. Uh, potentially ready to early enroll, but I haven't made a decision on that yet. Um, so that's still up in the air, kind of just waiting to see what the WIA says uh, about Washington season and how many games we have since I'm chasing records. And I also want to ring with my team, so that's still something I'm talking about with my family. How important is, is it to you to try to tr try to get those records? Uh, I would say state championship is more important, but that's the, definitely the next thing on my list. You're just this quiet kid from Stillicum going out to Columbus, Ohio. I mean, I mean, but seriously, I mean, I know you take great pride in where you come from. Right. Um, how much do you feel like you're representing Stillicum on this journey from here on out? I mean, uh, I want I want everyone to know where I came from. Uh, normally, Washington is known as a basketball state, but you see, especially with our class, Sam Heward, JT, me. Julian, Will, all these guys were uh, coming up in the football end too. And um, I just think having that platform that Ohio State brings, um, being ranked in the top five uh, teams every year is just huge. And I'm able to rep my, represent my state and my city in that way. And yet you broke the hometown university heart. Yeah. I mean, that comes with that, though, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It's strictly business. Nothing but love for all the coaching staff over there. Coach Adams, like my uncle, he coached my. Uh, offensive coordinator here at Stillicum who now moved on to Auburn Riverside, but I mean nothing but love for them and um, you know Just is how it is